Hey everybody, how are you? So for the last part of this video, I actually have here trying something a little new, so y'all get to see my face. <laughs> Not that much to look at. <laughs> um, trying to get this um, journal finished up. I had some health issues uh, rise come to uh, come up and so it kind of put me behind a little bit so but as you can see I have done some stenciling um, in this journal so that'll be all ready for you but what I would like to do right now is I would like to add oh, the the lighting on this is just not the greatest let me try and turn something off here Oh, that's better okay that works a little bit but a little bit better um just trying to get together everything that i need because there's a couple of things i would like to show you i would be better prepared as usually i have everything sitting right next to me and it is but it was just out of reach Alright, this is the same lace that we used on this. I'm losing my words a little bit today, friends. I'm very tired, so please forgive me. Alright, I would like to trim this so it's as even as possible. I'll let this fall into my lap a little bit here and I know it's going to be that long but yeah I had some health issues come up that I was not expecting at all Like, you know, we ever do. It's like we really expect them, right? But yeah, it kind of put me um, put me down for a week. Um, so it's, uh, things are better. Things are good. It'll be just fine. All right, so now I'm going to lay this lace right in here. Because what this lace is going to do is it's going to serve as a belly band. Then I'm going to just fold this over and because it's lace and I'm using Fabri-Tac it should seep right through there and get the bottom and the top. Okay. Not quite catching on this side so I'm going to add just a little bit more Not liking how that's grabbing so I'm going to fold it again smidge Now this is going to come down here. Give that a second to dry. I don't need to pull this too too tight, but I just want it enough so that I can pull. I want to cut this right about. Let's do it right about here. So now I know that, and I know I'm going to go right about here so I can line up my glue. So 
hope you guys have had a nice week. Um, really keeping my thoughts and prayers for all you, everyone up north. Looks like you guys are really getting slammed with a nasty, nasty snow snowstorm. I'm I'm not uh I grew up with snowstorms. I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. So I'm used to those uh see this isn't laying the way I want it to, so let's just try it again. But yeah, I'm used to those snowstorms. I grew up with them. My son's favorite story um when we were teaching him how to drive. See, didn't that turn out nice? Um, I had this temporary driving permit, and it's really important, as far as I'm concerned, it's really important that um, you know the kids learn how to drive in the in the weather, you know, in the in the snow and all that. I'm just cutting this so that it's even. So I, um, I was like, I don't know. 15, 16, however old you are when you have your driving permit. It was a long time ago. But like I said, I have always felt that it's really important to learn how to drive in bad weather. And what's one thing that boys love to do? Mm, donuts. <laughs> so I took him down to the school that I was working at. And <laughs> uh, yeah. He was driving my van, and I was in the uh, passenger seat, and I'm like, all right, here you go. Let's do some donuts. And I tell him to go real fast and put on the brakes so he could feel how it, you know, see how it feels. But, you know, it's one of those things, you know, he often tells everybody that his mom was the one who taught him how to do donuts. And I did. But I also know that he's one of the safest drivers I know, besides my husband. Okay, so now this is pretty dry for the most part, and we have a really cute lace belly band here. Um, and again, I apologize if this is not... I just don't like the way this lighting is. I'm doing, doing the best I can here for everybody. So now I have this journal card. Remember we made this? Well, I have put two um, Velcro, Velcro dots here. They're the clear ones. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other half of those Velcro dots to find the, um, you know, the fuzzy part. Them. I'm going to go ahead and attach this here. Do you see where I'm going with this yet? <laughs> and here's the other part. Uh, and I'm going to attach it down here. So this is sticky here. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to put this through right about where I would like it to sit. And I'm going to press it down. So now I have a beautiful journaling card that matches our our journal journal but it also Velcros in. And there it stays. Ta-da! Uh. All right, now the other thing I wanted to show you before we kind of close this series up, before I do the... Um, ...of it. Um, I like to make ruffles. <laughs> I love to make my ruffles. And 
take now I would take a strip like this and cut it in half and run it through my sewing machine and get something kind of like this you could get it where it's pulled tight but I kind of like it where it's got almost like pleats I just think it adds a little, little bit of dimension to it and I'll drop that all on there so what I do then is I'm just going to use this as, as an example I'm not going to put anything on here right now but I could take this ruffle I could take this ruffle and lay it down right there and oh where's the pin at this is trim and I could take my trim and lay it down on top of that ruffle see what I'm doing here and you will see throughout the journal that there will be ruffle with trim on it and I will use that as decoration throughout this entire journal um, you don't want to watch me go through and you know um, <laughs> go on my sewing machine or um, you know uh, <laughs> uh, gluing you know gluing a uh, trim on a ruffle that's just really boring um, I mean if that's something you want to see let me know uh, in the comments and I'll be sure to do a tutorial on that um, but anyway I am going to go through and I'm going to glue on my pockets and um, my tags are all done I need to take my tags and I'm going to take some sari ribbon like this and I will attach that to the top of my tags um, that's boring to watch so that way um, you have something to pull on <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and get that all put together and have everything all ready for you and the next time you see me we'll be doing the flip through of this journal and we have journal number one let me see if I can get this stuff off of here without dropping it on the floor Getting any of it Ugh. Journal number one and journal number two and by the time I'm done putting everything in in here that's in here it's going to be a chunky monkey just like this one nice big fat fat beautiful journals <laughs> so let me get to that and get everything added for you and we'll do our final flip through and we'll be all done and ready to put these up for sale in the Etsy shop so have a wonderful day be safe be kind and be nice to one another it's really not that difficult to try life's too short thanks everybody bye bye